This week's Bible quiz is all about the crucifixion and resurrection of Christ. It's all about how much God loves us and wanted to fix the relationship Adam and Eve shattered. We appreciate you subscribing, liking, sharing, and commenting, so YouTube will push our videos and encourage others. Thank you. Let's go right into the quiz. Where is the first reference to the crucifixion in the Bible? Is it in Genesis, Isaiah, Matthew, or John? If you answered Genesis, you are correct. According to Genesis 3.15, this is what God told the devil, and I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. In other words, the devil would bruise Jesus at Calvary, but Jesus would bruise his head by dying and rising from the dead. Who betrayed Jesus to the Romans? Was it Judas Iscariot, Peter, Judas Devilnos, or Matthew? According to Matthew 26, 14 to 16, it was Judas Iscariot. Who helped Jesus carry the cross? Was it Nicodemus, Joseph of Arimathea, Simon of Cyrene, or none of the above? According to Luke 23, 26, as they led Jesus away, they laid hold upon one Simon, a Cyrenian, coming out of the country, and on him they laid the cross, that he might bear it after Jesus. Who confirmed the death of Jesus to Pontius Pilate? Was it Joseph of Arimathea, Nicodemus, a centurion, or Judas Iscariot? Mark 14, 44-45, Pilate marveled that he was already dead, and summoning the centurion, he asked him if he had been dead for some time. So when he found out from the centurion, he granted the body to Joseph. Who asked Pilate for Jesus' body for burial? Was it Mary Magdalene, John the Apostle, Joseph of Arimathea, or Simon of Cyrene? The answer was actually given in the previous question. Yes, it was Joseph of Arimathea, Mark 15.43. Who were the first people to see that Jesus' tomb was empty? Peter and John, Mary Magdalene, both A and B, or none of the above? Peter, John, and Mary Magdalene were the first to find that Jesus had risen from the dead. Read John 20, 1-10 for more. Who doubted Jesus' resurrection until he saw Jesus with his own eyes? Was it John, Peter, Thomas, or Matthew? It was Thomas, doubting Thomas. You may get more details in John 20, verses 24 to 29. Who recognized the resurrected Jesus during the breaking of bread? The eleven disciples, the disciples at Emmaus, Mary Magdalene, or Peter and John? It was the disciples at Emmaus, as seen in Luke 24, 30 to 31. True or false, Jesus appeared to over 500 brethren at once after his resurrection. True, Jesus appeared to over 500 brethren at once after his resurrection. This is reflected in 1 Corinthians 15, 6. Who was the first to enter the empty tomb? Was it Peter, James, John, or Mark?
According to John 20, 4 and 5, it was John. Who rolled back the stone from the door of the tomb? Was it an angel, Peter, John, or Joseph of Arimathea? According to Matthew 28, 2, And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven, and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. How many angels did the women see at the tomb? Was it one, two, three, or none? Luke 24, 4 and it came to pass, as they were much perplexed thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garment. Who said, He is not here, for he is risen as he said? Was it Peter, John, an angel, or Mary Magdalene? It was an angel, as seen in Matthew 28. True or false, Jesus left the linen in which he was buried in the tomb. John 20, 6-7 Then cometh Simon Peter following him, and went into the sepulchre, and seeth the linen clothes lie, and the napkin that was about his head, not lying with the linen clothes, but wrapped together in a place by itself. Who outran Peter to the tomb when they heard that Jesus was not there? Was it Andrew, Thomas, James, or John? John outran Peter to the tomb when they heard that Jesus was not there. Read about it in John 20, 2-4. Who said, My Lord and my God, when he saw the resurrected Jesus? Was it Peter, John, Thomas, or Matthew? It was Thomas. He was the one who said he would not believe Jesus was risen, unless he saw Jesus' hands with the print of the nails, and put his finger into the print of the nails, and thrust his hand into his side. Read more in John 20, 24 to 28. How many days did Jesus show himself to the apostles after his resurrection? Was it 30, 40, 50, or 60? Jesus showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs, being seen of them forty days, and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God, Acts 1, 3. Who witnessed Jesus' ascension into heaven? Was it the eleven disciples, Mary Magdalene, the disciples at Emmaus, or all of the above? It was the eleven disciples, as we read in Acts 1, 9-11. True or false, Jesus will return in the same way as he ascended into heaven. The first time Jesus ascended to heaven, two angels asked, Why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. Acts 1, 11. Fill in the blank. God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to blank them. Was it to honor them, save them, punish them, or reward them? For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. John 3, 17 What did the elders do when they heard Jesus' tomb was empty? 
They laughed, they went and looked, they panicked, or did they bribe the soldiers? Acts 1, 11 to 15. They gave large money unto the soldiers, saying, Say ye, his disciples came by night and stole him away while we slept. And if this come to the governor's ears, we will persuade him and secure you. So they took the money and did as they were told. And this saying is commonly reported among the Jews until this day. True or false, Jesus was seen by Paul after his resurrection. True. 1 Corinthians 15.8, Paul said, And last of all he was seen of me also, as of one born out of due time, who said, Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. Was it Peter, John, Jesus, or Thomas? Addressing Thomas, Jesus said, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen, and yet have believed. John 20, 29. How many other Marys came with Mary Magdalene to the sepulchre? Was it one, two, three, or none? The answer is one. According to Matthew 28, 1, in the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulchre. Final question. True or false, Jesus spoke to the two Marys alone after he rose from the dead. True. Matthew 28, 9. Then said Jesus unto them, Be not afraid. Go tell my brethren that they go into Galilee, and there shall they see me. We appreciate you taking part in our quiz on Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection. Thank you for commenting, subscribing, liking, and sharing. God loves you so much. Have an amazing day filled with God's blessings. See you next week for another exciting Bible quiz.